Welcome to Excel Magic number 441. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic 440 to 445. Hey, in this trick we have a list of times and we need to count all the ones that start with 7. Now, 1, 2, 3, all of these have 7 a.m. We can't just count the ones that start to 7 because we might have a 7 p.m. Well, hour, we're going to use the hour function. We could get a 0, for example, here, or a 1, for example, here, but 7 is the one we're interested in. If we get to 7 p.m., I forget what that is, that's like 19, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead and use this, and there's another, there's two, at least two ways to do this. Uh, let's start with the hour function. And uh, it's expecting a single serial number, but we are going to highlight this whole range all the way to there. And we're going to have to lock it with the F4 key, close parentheses. If I highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate, you can see you just extract those. And sure enough, there's our uh, 19 for 7, 16 for 4, Control Z. Now we have to convert these to trues and falses because we have a little table right here. And so when we get to the 7, this formula needs to be, this all of these hours needs to be looking there and saying how many of them are 7. So we say equals one cell to my left. Now those are trues and falses. So to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros, I put double negative and then the, the trues and falses inside of here. In parentheses, if I hit F9, you can see there are trues and falses, Control Z. If I highlight all of that and hit F9, you can see it gives me my ones and zeros. Now I need to add them. Control Z. I could use sum and Control Shift Enter, but forget that. I'll just use sum product because it can handle that array, which comes from the hour function. Hour function, by the way, is expecting a single serial number, but we put a bunch in, so that converted it to an array. Uh, this is an array right here. You can saw it delivered all the ones and zeros or the trues and falses, but the sum product will handle it just fine. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now that is one way to do it. Another way is if you wanted to do uh, have 7 a.m. and uh, 7 p.m., especially if that's the label, you could use the text function. The text function just uh, goes through that whole range and formats it. That's a custom number format in double quotes, hour, and then a.m. or p.m. And they say equal to this 12 a.m., 1 a.m., etc. Same double negative and uh, copy that one down. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.